Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to call a stored procedure from VB.NET application. So uh, here's our uh, form. It, is, it will be just calling uh, stored procedure, which is there in the SQL Server database. Okay, and uh, this is uh, the, uh, this is actually the code of all that. And we are going to be calling a stored procedure by the name employee list. It is uh, it is right here under the Northwind database under stored procedure and here it is this is the one that will be calling okay and uh, and what wha what exactly it's gonna do is now for calling a stored procedure the main part starts from here okay we are declaring a command object by the name sqlcom and then what we are doing is we are assigning the connection property to the to the property of the command object okay this SQL con it is having all the details about the connection string and all that and we are simply assigning this one to the uh, command object of the SQL command okay and then we are specifying what type it is I mean we are specifying that the command type is a stored procedure and then we are specifying the stored procedure name here okay so uh, and this um, and I'm displaying a message box here is gonna come back to me with the uh, with the result from the stored procedure whatever the values are alright so uh, what I'm gonna do is that just quickly go and run this application and uh, show you how it is gonna work okay and this is our form here okay so what I'm going to do is that just hit this button and let's see what happens it's gonna get connected to the database and then come back to me with the result saying that this is the first result uh, this is the first uh, value of that okay the reason why it's showing me only the only one record is because I have used execute scalar method here. What execute scalar method actually does is it only returns the first row of the data set. Whatever the values are, it's going to just return the first row of the data set. Okay. So uh, the reason and and the reason why even for displaying a message, I'm using a try catch block is, f uh, you know, again, f uh, to be on the safer side, I'm just being. Uh, too uh, too safe and uh, to be I'm just taking a preventive measures for all that uh, I'm, and, and, and I'm just gonna prove a point here for example if I'm trying to call a stored procedure which does not exist for example if I'll just uh, say fat finger here I'll just change the name of a stored procedure now th this is stored procedure for example if I say M okay now there's no stored procedure by the name M in uh, in my database and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this one up here okay and remove this from the try catch block and let's see what happens okay and then you'll come to know how uh, how useful try catch block is now we are trying to call a stored procedure uh, by the name M which does not really exist and we are trying to display the value in a message box okay and let's quickly go and run and let's see what happens I know that uh, some uh, weird things uh, may happen Okay, now we are trying to call the stored procedure and it's gonna come back to me with some kind of error. See, it gave me a message saying that th there was some system error and blah 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 like that. So what we can do, the better way is to include this line in the try catch block. Okay, right here. I'll just uncomment this. And now try to run, try to call this stored procedure even though it does not exist but I'm including this line in the try catch block and then it will trap all the errors that are there okay oh, I'm just gonna run this and try to call this short procedure which does not exist and let's see what happens it's gonna go and look for that and then it is giving me a message saying that could not find short procedure M see I mean it is you know at least a good message saying that uh, yeah, you know so that the user will come to know what went wrong and what is exactly happening so that is the beauty of using try catch log it's gonna trap all the errors and save you from all the hassles and for uh, you know all the other things so this is just a small uh, small demo showing how we can call a stored procedure in my next video I'm gonna show you how we can call a stored procedure passing values from the vb.net application so see you in that video thank you very much for watching this video